Hello peoples and welcome to a review. I was graciously sent a saxophone from E-Star and we're going to be doing a little review and unboxing. Alright, so that's the saxophone, I assume. Let's set that down over here. And, yes, so this comes with a stand. Okay, I've been like wanting a stand for my auto. If you look over here, I have this stand here that uh, it was an alto stand, but I had to bend this to fit my tenor. I want to keep my tenor up. So now it'll be cool to have an alto one as well. That's really cool that it comes with this. The padding looks good. It's really good that it has stronger padding right here. Yeah, let's uh, let's see how it fits my current alto. Oh, it fits like a glove. Of course, you don't want to keep the stand on your bed. But yeah, there's the stand. That seems to be all that's in the box. Okay. We've got a. I don't know what that material is. You guys know it. You can tell. You can hear it. Yeah, I don't know what this material is called. Please let me know, because I, I I look dumb. So, But look, it's got this strap here to hold it. You can hold it from here. It's got feet. It's got these hooks. We got a, a section to put your music in. Let's see if there's anything in there. <sighs> Shoulder strap. Hook there and there. Nice. Another shoulder strap? Oh, it's for backpack. You can backpack it. Yeah, it hooks here. I love being able to backpack it. I can backpack my tenor. My tenor is kind of the same boat as this alto. My tenor I got for a pretty pretty cheap price, which is, I believe it's like 280 I don't know. There's a link in the top of the description, by the way, if you want to check out the product. The saxophone itself. Alright, so we got zippers. My current alto is like a plastic case with some buckles. Nice. So, you can see in here, saxophone wrapped in the cloth. Let's get it out. I actually, I don't remember what color it is. Let's see. A lot of these made in China saxes are... Oh, yeah. This is the uh, vintage color. So it looks like old vintage metal. Old vintage brass. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. That actually looks so good. Look at the details on that. Hopefully it shows up. Dang. And it's kind of heavy. I feel like it's heavier than my current Alto. Okay. Dang. I'm excited. I haven't had a new Alto ever. Uh, we got the neck. Same finish. There's like a cubby for the mouthpiece slot. We get gloves. Now, when I was in college marching band, it was required to practice with gloves because you always performed with gloves. You had to be like prepared. Uh, we got cleaning cloth, little, little lace design on the edge. Okay, we're out here getting fancy with our cleaning. Okay, so we got reeds. Uh, I don't see any branding on this reed. <laughs> okay, bunch of them. Brandless reeds. We'll give them a try. They don't look bad, but I think, yep, neck strap. I think it's my style of neck strap. As you can see, I'm wearing this one. It's kind of twisted up, but I like the string. I don't like the the strap neck strap. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of weird to say you don't like the strap neck strap. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, it's got some padding too. Okay. Alright, well, you gotta try this new neck strap out. Dang. Ooh, that's smooth. I didn't think I'd be so impressed by the neck strap. Alright, and then the hook, it's just a metal hook. It's got like a rubber tip on it so you don't scratch anything. Dang. Alright, okay. 
garbage. All right, what else does it come with? No way. No way. It's a, it's a plastic green. That's cool, it's black. Look at that. So this is the type of read you just slap on and start playing. I, I got one for my tender and I love it, so we'll definitely try that out. Comes with a little reed case. Kind of glued up, but uh, it'll get the job done once I get that glue off. Dang, that's so cool that it comes with a plastic reed. What is this? E-Star would never disappoint you. Many thanks for choosing E-Star. Yeah, cool. Definite big shout outs to E-Star. We got cork grease. Definitely gotta grease up these corks. All right, let's uh, let's give her a test run. It's uh, the mouthpiece out here. New mouthpiece height. All oh, even the ligature is the finish. It's got a read on it. Let's see if it plays. Was it pre moistened? <laughs> I hope not. It looks a little pre-moistened, I don't know. Maybe they're giving it a little whale before they sent it to me. And uh, we're going to give it a test run and also compare it to my current saxophone so you can see what the sound is like. If you guys have watched my saxophone covers, you've probably seen me play my alto. Alright, so I know that saxophones, yeah, they're, the keys are wedged together, so we are going to be right back once I have it all prepped and ready to play. All right, so there's a bunch of these little cork wedges. You can't really see that, but little pieces of cork. They're just holding up some of these, uh, you know, so the buttons are closed during shipping. So if you do get this, make sure you look through, make sure you get them all out. I'm pretty sure I have them all. We'll see when I try to play it. But yeah, I just can't get over how good this saxophone looks, and it feels so, like, I'm... Like, I picked up my old sax. Let's, uh, side by side. This thing feels, my old sax feels cheap compared to this thing. Oh. Hold up. The horns are, like, different distances. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty unique. And the buttons are, this is weird. This is cool. Well, let's see how it plays. But I was messing around with this this pinky slide and the buttons it slides so fluidly like I've had I've probably played on like five alto saxes and most of them have been rough when it comes to that so this is good all right let's uh, get her hooked up and play it another thing to note the liar clip slot I guess is like down here where I've had it usually up here with the neck tightening but it's down here I don't know if that makes a difference so we are going to be trying out the plastic reed that it came with. It's going to blend right into the mouthpiece. That looks sick. And the upside to plastic reeds, if you don't like the word moist, it's great because you don't have to get the reed moist. You don't have to hear that. We're going to give her a play. Next strap on. <laughs> Dang! Wait. Thumbs up with my octaves. Oh, I think I missed one of the cork. hard for me to get my notes out. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how well my uh, my metal mouthpiece fits with my other alto. So already, even with, it doesn't feel like I'm getting that solid chemistry with this mouthpiece yet. I gotta warm up to it. But it's already sounding pretty good. <laughs>
first impression is amazing. This is probably the best alto saxophone I've ever played, which isn't saying much. I haven't played that much. My best alto saxophone was this. It's got a big old dent and it's old. So already I'm getting such a nice experience with this and it's, oh yeah, I pulled up the page. If you wanted to buy this, this is currently $286.99 on Amazon. This is the antique bronze color and it comes with everything you need. If you're looking to start, you want to learn the saxophone, this is such a good deal. You get a stand. This is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy that it comes with this. Let's let's take a look at it down here. We got it. I'm done playing for the day or I'm taking a break. Set it right on in there. I'm pretty sure it's adjustable too. Now you can adjust the height down here with this. Look at that beauty. Yeah. So let's uh, compare the sound. I'm going to play the same song on my old sax and then on this one. And you guys can hear the difference and tell me how you think it sounds. <laughs> I can barely get a sound out of it. Do not recommend the reeds. Okay, so that was all of the play testing. We tested the new saxophone on one of the reeds that I like and use. The reed, the wooden reed that came with it, and then the plastic reed that came with it. The plastic reed, if you have the the mouth, like the embouchure for it, this thing can play so loud. Let me give you an example. Like it's just, it can belt, and it's kind of crazy. It can just handle it. And then the reed, the wooden reeds that come with this saxophone, I definitely recommend just buying like some other reeds. I use Van Doren Java Jazz. That's just what I've used ever since I started Jazz Band. I use a two and a half strength, which is pretty low. Most people tell me I should get higher, but I don't like it more. Uh, but it's really nice that it comes with the plastic reed and it works. It works way better than the wooden ones. So as you can see, just out of the box, if you buy this, you have everything you need to play. If you use that plastic reed, this, the mouthpiece, the saxophone, it's all ready. The next strap is the stand, the white gloves, the cleaning cloths. You got literally everything you need. Usually, you know, you go to rent a saxophone. You rent the saxophone from the music store. And then you got to buy a mouthpiece, a reed, and all that stuff. You know, this thing, you got the full package. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Also, it has a high F sharp key. My other saxophone doesn't have that. That makes things way easier. And I was not able to hit an altissimo G. Let me try it again. Yeah, I can't hit an altissimo G on it yet, but I'm sure it'll come over time. You guys will see. Make sure you guys let me know what you thought sounded better. Personally, this one is a lot less noisy. That's one thing than my saxophone, my old like student level saxophone. When I'm playing, I'm not hearing like the clinks and the clacks, you know, from the keys. It's a lot smoother over here. This thing also, it's like it has a darker sound than my saxophone, which I really like. And the aesthetic is amazing. So I'll definitely be using this in videos coming up. And yes, I am going to be making more videos. It's been a minute. 
Well, yeah, let me know what you guys think, what your opinions are on it. If you have any questions about it, make sure if you want to check it out and maybe pick yourself up a saxophone. This is an amazing starting saxophone if you want to learn. Great price, just under $300. And it plays really well for that price. So I definitely recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.